Hey everybody, welcome back to Conscientious Omnivore. Uh, my name is Powell. Just wanted to do an update on the garden here. Things have exploded in the past few days. Um, we've had a lot of rain in the past week or so. Um, basically like since we got back from vacation and uh, it's just like everything's going nuts. So things are just growing really well. My brother was right about the tomatoes. Um, they've definitely kind of like perked up the ones that I planted from him. The ones that we've planted from before are just going crazy. I gotta like come in here and put some more um, stakes uh, in the ground so they can kind of keep growing up. A lot of them are kind of starting to spread on the ground which is not good apparently. Um, I just learned this from my brother that a lot of the blight that affects tomatoes can come up from the ground. Although I think with the wood chips it's probably not going to be as dangerous. Um, even the ones that were pretty much laying down on the ground I haven't seen any problems with the leaves yet so hopefully that's going to be okay. Um, but yeah they're going crazy. I mean there's so many tomatoes on here. Let me try and get in here. I just don't want to step on anything. Um, you can really see like this guy has a ton of tomatoes on it, um, lots of tomatoes on here, there's some really nice ones in there, um, you know the beans are growing really well on the uh, corn, um, the corn has just come up, I mean it's already like maybe, you know, the tallest one here is probably like mid chest height on me, um, you can see the, the beans are doing well in here too. They're, they're growing up um, and they're going to keep kind of going up on the corn. Um, the zucchinis are going crazy, like they're they're massive. My brother was right, I should have spaced them farther apart. That's okay. Um, learning for next time. So these are the green ones. You can see there's a bunch on here already. There's a green one and these are the yellow ones. And we got more um, back there, I th although I think those are squash actually. Those might be squash. And then um, we got more over here. Uh, these are yellow ones too. You can see these are doing really well. You can see them right there. I don't know what this one is. This one might be a squash or might be a zucchini. I don't know. Um, you can see the corn here with the uh, bean going around it. And this is doing really well, nice, nice and neat. Um, the tomatoes here are going crazy. We already got a bunch of little tomatoes on some of these plants um, that we got from my brother. And yeah, this is doing really nicely back here. So everything is just doing really, really well. These are the tiny little tomatoes that we planted from seed uh, that my wife planted in here. This one too, I mean, look at it. It's like a foot tall now or whatever. Maybe a little more than a foot tall. And uh, they're just exploding. Everything's doing fantastic. You can see more tomatoes down in here, um, right over there. I don't know how hard, it, how easy it is to see it in the camera, but you can see lots of tomatoes all over the place. We're gonna have tomatoes, hopefully. And um, let's see what else we got here. We got, uh, yeah, I think that's most of it, of what you can see easily. These tomatoes I'm really excited about. Um, they're like starting to ripen, and these apparently just become this nice black color. You can see a huge pile of tomatoes back there. Uh, so everything's just doing so well. I'm really, really excited about it. And, um, you know, the raspberries are just going crazy. We're gonna have to come back in the afternoon and uh, bring a big bowl or something and probably get my in-laws to come and help us and just start picking off the, the raspberries. You can just see that there's so many now. Um, you know, I really gotta thin these out, I think. For next year because you can't even get in here I mean they're just there's so many you got to really thin this out I think but there's some beautiful raspberries all over this um, I mean there's just tons and tons you can just see all in there all in here there's a bunch of stinging nettle and stuff in there too so I got to clear out some of this stuff but uh, yeah they're doing fantastic um, the peach tree sadly looks like it's pretty much dead uh, I'm gonna leave it the way it is and um, you know this was pretty much on sale anyway it was only 2,000 footings so it was kind of late in the season I think it was just uh, for a bare root tree it was just too late to be um, you know planting it and uh, that's probably why it was on sale but um, anyway the work I did for digging the hole and everything if I do have to plant a new one next year you know I'll just plant it right here anyway 
and uh, and it's fine. And there's still a chance. My brother said that maybe it'll um, throw up some new shoots, uh, you know, in the uh, spring. So we're just gonna leave it the way it is. The apricot's doing great. You can see the leaves are doing fantastic. There's more growth on there. Um, more and more strawberry or uh, what do you call it? Raspberries here. And you can see some of them are quite nice, um, nice and big. These are delicious. And um, all right, just tons of fruit. You can see everywhere. I'm gonna come back in here and, and go to town on these. Um, yeah, I just, I love raspberries. I can just sit here all day and eat these. Um, <laughs> I just, I love these things, man. Anyway, the um, uh, pomegranate is doing okay, although it's so kind of grown in now with the uh, raspberries around it that uh, I don't think it's really getting too much sun, so it hasn't really done too much growing, but it's definitely still alive and putting out new uh, leaves. So I think, you know, hopefully it'll be okay, but for next year I want to clear back some of these and thin out the raspberries because they're really just starting to get kind of unruly. Um, but yeah, you can just see just how many, um, you know, uh, raspberries there are. They're going crazy. The uh, strawberries are looking good. They're you know, they continue to produce a couple little pieces of fruit here and there. Um, this year, really, I think they're just getting established. So, you know, I got to do a little bit better job here of uh, clearing out the bed here for them and uh, getting the grass out of there and getting in some mulch on top of it. Uh, the raspberries are invading, so I got to take those guys out and move them. Um, the persimmon tree is doing well. It's got a lot of growth on it and it's doing quite nicely. So this thing's great. Um, more raspberries. The corn back here is doing great too. Um, I should have planted some uh, beans here too, but I didn't get around to it, but I think that's fine for next year, we'll do that. Uh, these strawberries are looking good here, so those are fine. The apple tree, um, not doing too good, but it's definitely still alive. I'm hoping it'll come around. Uh, this was the second one I planted. Uh, the blueberries are like okay, not great. That one seems to be a little bit better than this one. Um, the gooseberry is doing well, uh, putting on a lot of growth, so maybe by like next year we should see some fruit on that. And um, our wild horseradish is doing great, and this apple tree is doing a lot better. Um, this was the nicest one that I had planted first, so you can see a lot of new growth coming up on that. It's looking good. The raspberries that I planted back here are looking good. The elderberry bushes have gone crazy. All the flowers are pretty much gone now. The uh, little beads are starting to form. So these are gonna be the little, um, you know, beads that we're gonna harvest for uh, jam and stuff uh, later in the summer. And let's see what else is going on. Yeah, we got a lot of raspberries back here too growing. And this is a different type. So I'm gonna try and spread some of these as well. These, these have no, um, uh, like no thorns. So these are uh, like, um, different, you know, you can see that they're they're smooth um, And these raspberries are actually even more delicious maybe than the other ones So I want to definitely get some of these spreading and you can see a ripe one back here These are just awesome. I love these oh, Got a little ant on there. Let's let him go. There he is. He's gone and uh, Yeah, these are just fantastic. I'm gonna spread some of these um and then what else have we got here? We got all the plums. They're doing great. Um, tons and tons of fruit on these trees here. Uh, you can see just a whole bunch. So this is doing great. Um, yeah, everything's just growing so well. I'm really, really happy. And I uh, just wanted to share this with you guys. And yeah, stay tuned for more updates.